The comp drive consists of two comps. One comp, the, gray, the light gray is fixed, and the dark gray comp is movable. The dark, the dark gray comp is attached to these fixed pad by the beam spring. The second comp is used just for measurement. So, if you take a look closer at the comp drive, here at the bottom, at the top picture, you can see the structure. One plate has the electric potential, and the other comp has ground potential. When we apply the electric potential, there is the electric force which tries to pull one comp inside the other. And our task is to calculate the force and the displacement. We would like to know how much voltage we should apply to get the specific displacement. I will calculate only this one case where the voltage applied is 550 volts, but you can easily change the value and calculate the displacement at other voltages applied. Now this problem is more complicated, so I, I will open the already prepared design. Now let's take a look at the problem properties. Indeed, the first I would like to calculate the electric field to find the electric for force. So the problem type is electrostatics, the length units are microns. And now let's take a look closer at the geometry model. I will hide the finite element mesh. So you can see this is the semiconductor material which forms comb drives, the beam spring, and on the right is the smaller the measurement comb drive. As the geometry is symmetrical, I draw only the half of the model, only this right half is present in the geometry model. Now this is the fixed plates contacting This is the air outside. This contacting plate is grounded. And this contacting plate has voltage applied, 50 volts. And again, this, this right comp drive is used for measurement only, it is not energized. Only the left side is energized. 50 volts and grounded. So this part will be pulled inside. Now let's take a look at the simulation result.
You can see the electric potential lines. And I can switch on the color map to show you the electric field stand. You see indeed on the, the left part is energized, the right is used for measurement only. Here on you, in the scale you can see the electric field strength level which is about 28 kilovolts per millimeter and I would like to calculate the force. To calculate the force I will select the object Fold the integral and choose the mechanical force integral. You see indeed the force, the horizontal force is directed to the left, so this right comb is pulled to the left. And indeed, this force will make some deformation. So the next problem I would like to simulate is the mechanical problem. Again, I already prepared the mechanical problem. So I will open it in quick field to pass the forces from electrical to mechanical problem. Both problems should be based on this same geometry model. So you see both mechanical and the electrical problem shares the same geometry model. In mechanical problem I do not calculate the electrical stre the mechanical st stress in the air because there is none. So some objects are missed in the mechanical problems. Only the semiconductor presence. And these are the data I specified for the semiconductor. Again, the, the label which were used to specify the electric potential in the electrical problem has new meaning in the mechanical problem. You see the this grounded label This gaunted plate is now fixed. I specified zero displacement of this edge. The sensor, the sensor comp also fixed. And this contacting plate where I have specified electric potential in a little problem is also fixed. It is immovable. Now the only moving part is the, this central one. And this is the symmetry edge. And again, if you take a look at the problem properties, there is the link tab. And you can see that the there is the link to electrical problem and from this electrical problem I take the electric forces. So in my mechanical problem the stresses will be calculated based on the electric forces taken from this electric problem. Now let's take a look at the results. Let's take a look at the field picture properties. 
here you can see the deformed shape well scaled and I can switch on the mechanical stress color map I will adjust the scale So you can see indeed these plates and these right plates are fixed. This plate is also fixed. And the wall central part moved to the left. And with quick field you can calculate the displacement, mechanical displacement and the stress distribution.